YouTube, welcome back to my channel. And before you watch to see how I achieve this look, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. To prep the skin, I'm going to be using this Vitamin E skincare cream from Fruit of the Earth. I bought this at Dollar General, I believe. It came for like two for one. And it's supposed to moisturize, soothe, and protect for softer, younger looking skin. So I'm already in love with this. You guys should definitely try it. I'm going to let this just sink into the skin for a bit and go ahead and start on my eyes. So I'm just going to take some of the ColourPop no filter concealer that I always use and I'm just going to blend that out with a beauty blender and once I'm done doing that I'm going to set that just so I can get rid of some of the creases. So I'm just going to set it with my Maybelline Fit Me finishing powder in 30 medium deep. And just an FYI I'm going to be using several palettes today to achieve this look so be prepared if you don't have it just use anything you have to start i'm going to use this clinique all about shadows palette and none of these shades have names so i'm just picking up this dark dark gray it's more of a dark gray instead of black shade and i'm just going to blend this out on the crease and i keep switching angles because i realize i always look down to do my eyeshadow but i don't think you guys can see that so next i'm just taking this kind of taupey brown color and i'm going to Add a little bit more dimension to that gray and blend it up towards my eyebrows. And to cut my crease, I'm going to just use the same color pop, color pop no filter concealer. And we are doing a full cut crease today, but just so you know, I cannot for the life of me ever get both of my eyes the same. I don't know if my eyes are two different shapes or I just work better on one eye than the other, but I'm just not good at getting them equivalent. The next palette I'm using is my Morphe 35V palette. I'm just going to take this blue shade here. I forgot the name of it. It's called Hit It Off. I just went to go look for it. I'm just going to pack this onto the outer corners and I'm going to be packing more than blending it out just because it gives a better color payout when you do it that way, when you pack it on and then blend it out once you have all the colors added. Our next palette we're going to use came in this little nifty gift set and uh, well once it's actually open there are four eyeshadow palettes a highlighter and contour palette and a lip gloss palette I'm just going to take this blue eyeshadow palette called mystic taking this blue shade called mystical I'm going to put this on the center of my eyelids to achieve the best color payout with these shades in this palette you will have to scrape up the shades just to create a loose pigment. Once I am done packing on this lighter blue shade, I'm going to flip to the darker blue shade on the brush and I'm going to blend these two together. The next shade I'm using is called Mermaid and it's a turquoise shade. I'm just going to pack that onto the rest of this concealer and once I'm done packing, I will blend this shade and the mystical shade together. I might not show me blending those two together, but I do. And after I do that, I just clean up the crease a bit with both of the gray and taupe shades. Taking my NYX Vivid Brights eyeliner in the shade Sapphire, I am going to line the last half of my crease in between where the blues and gray meet. Taking my NYX Epic Ink Liner, I'm going to add a winged liner. And when you have a cut crease, you kind of want to line up your wing with the crease wing, if that makes sense to you. I'm going to just throw on some lashes, clean up any fallout, and I'm going to finish the other eye off camera. I'm gonna finish up the rest of my face, but I am going to speed through it only because my latest videos have a lot of detail about the products I'm using and why I'm using them and the order I'm using them in. I just feel like I'm repeating everything in every video. So that's why I'm not going to explain what I'm doing. I'm just gonna show it. Once I do get new products to show and explain, I will do that. But since I've been using all these same products, there's nothing for me to really explain. One thing I will say I noticed that I did was I forgot to add blush and it really you can really tell like it makes my face look a little bit more open than usual my cheeks and I don't really like it towards the end of the video once I'm doing all my stupid poses 
I noticed it and I'm just like, wow, you look really weird. And now that the under eye is concealed and set, I am going to finish up the eye. I'm going to take that taupe shade and drag it under my eye and smoke it out a bit. Then I'm going to take my Yes Please palette and I'm going to take this yellow shade called Mischief and I'm going to pop that on the inner corners of my eyes just for a little pop of color. For the lips, I am using my LA Colors Matte Lip Liner, Matte Lipstick, and the Oh So Shiny Lip Color in Glistening. Or Glisten, I think it's just Glisten. But the other two, the Lip Liner and the Matte Lipstick don't really have a name for it. But once I'm done with that, I am finished with this look. And I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I also hope to see you all in my next video. So make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. And follow me on Instagram at Forever Natisha.